Hi folk, back on. Now, you saw me just a moment ago and I created this card here, okay? And I said I was going to come back on and show you how to use the frame but do a background and leave the frame with just your main figure. So I have used the other image from Birthday Blooms. I've used this image. And I've just stuck my elbow on it, I but I'm used to have this image, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do the frame background, okay? Now, I had a boo-boo with some Tranquil Tide. So, that's the colour I'm going to use for my background. So, I've got my Tranquil Tide ink, and I've got the big image from Birthday Blooms, okay? Now, you get a scrap of paper or card, whatever suits you. Um, let me see. I'll put some scrap paper here. I'm just going to fold it. And I'm going to be working opposite myself. Okay. So I am going to be working this way all right so you basically put your paper up to the frame end and ink up your stamp okay ink it up and you're going to then stamp on ink it up again turn your stamp ink on again Take it away. Turn your card. Line your paper back up to the end of the frame. And cut your stamp again. On. On. Turn. Line up your frame again and cut your stamp and stamp on and cut your stamp, turn it and con. Turn it again. I'm just going to use the other end because I think that side's getting a bit inky and I don't want any ink splodges on my project. And ink on. Okay. Take it away. Take it away. And there you have your perfect stamp framed image. Okay. Now let me just clean my stamp because it's a bit icky. And a wee tip to save you having to clean your blocks constantly. Is, I'm going to move that out of the way because I don't want that getting wet. Is place it on some kitchen roll or some tissue paper and just squirt it down with some water. That takes the worst of the ink off. Okay, oops, squirted everything off it. Never mind. That takes the worst of the ink off. And then when you actually go to clean it in your stamp and scrub, it's not going to need to be washed out as often because there's not as much ink going into it. Okay. So I hope that's a wee helpful tip. Oops, a wee bit of icky ink at the side. That's all right. That's us. Right. Oops. Got some on that now. Because there was loads of ink on it though. Right. So then all we need to do is add a sentiment. So I have got some watercolour card here. I have got my sentiment. Dear friend. And on we go. 
perfect. Close that over to see if any accidents. Bring that off again. Because Tranquil Tide is such a dark colour that if I was to put that straight onto my stamping scrub, it would be bogging and I would need to clean it constantly. And that's not the best thing for me because I want to be working rather than cleaning. Right, so that's that block cleaned. Punch, 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 punch. Let's see. Nope. 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 Yes. Whoops, a daisy. So I am going to punch this out with this, but I will need to get a bit of space, I think, to get in. So I'm just coming in with that. Line it up. Pop out. Okay. And that can go with that. Now, I am going to ink the edges of that. Just because I think it needs a little bit of something. So, where's my ink daubers went to? Oh, right here, I feel it my feet. So, there we go, tranquil tide. Now, a wee tip for your ink bobbles. When you first get them, my advice is to ink them up really well. Okay. For two reasons. One, you can see at the tip what colour it is. And two, because any subsequent time that you ink, you're only needing to minimalist add ink. Okay. So I'm just dabbing off a wee bit and I'm just lightly inking because I've already got quite a lot of tranquil tide on this project so I don't want to overload it I'm just kind of flicking a tiny bit of colour on There we go. And then I just put it back in. And as I said, I only got this yes. This is quite a few colours I haven't used. But I have used my stamp and write markers to make up a template. This is just stuck onto acetate with a little bit of tacky glue. And I've just placed it on top of where the colours are. And I think it was a three quarter inch punch I used from stamping up so that I've got each colour out. Okay. Really simple, but it's handy. And I will be getting another few of these. I'm hoping to buy one next week. And then hopefully next month I will get two for my distress inks because they're fantastic. Right, so we've got that there. And we will put that on with dimensionals, if I can find them. They are hiding. Shoes. Blob in the middle. We bit at that side. Just finishing them off because there's actually not much left on it. There Peel these back. And 
and I did actually buy the mini dimensionals. I haven't used them yet because to be honest I'm going to save them for my smaller projects. Um, I think they will work better for them. Right, so we've got it like that and I'm going to just bring it in here. Straighten it up a wee bit. Like that. And I think I want to add a tiny wee bit of this pink onto it. So what I'm going to do is use my faceted gems, which are new into this year's catalogue as well. Oops. And to get the colour I want, I'm going to use an alcohol marker. If I can get it out, that is. Um, no, that's not the right one. That's it. So I have got a magenta pro marker, and that's going to give me enough of a pinky colour to persuade me it's the same as what I'm putting on this. So I'm just going to add. pink to it and it's an alcohol marker so it will dry and stay permanent then I will use my exacto knife pick up my gemstone I'm going to have it here I think Add it there, press it down, and that just carries that over and adds that tiny wee tint of something else. Okay, so I hope that has helped. And as I said, I haven't laid this on anything, you could maybe lay it on to the berry burst, or let me see if I've got anything else here. Get a wee bit of pink pirouette. I don't think that will work right though. I don't actually have my Berry Burst cardstock in yet. It's coming on Monday. But you can see if you lay it up, it looks absolutely stunning. And you could watercolour in here as well. Or to soften the edges there, watercolour round about it. Alright. So I hope you've enjoyed that. I hope it's helped. And... I can't wait to see your projects. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.